Bye. <laughs> Mary Lou. With love. Oh. There you go. Hi. Hey, I almost gave it up on you. I'm sorry, but Uncle John was leaving and he had to get messages from Spence to give to Dusty and then I can't And then I call. got an important phone call just as we were leaving, so. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is Lily here yet? No, no, she's not. Which reminds me, Lisa and Craig want to have a special surprise party for her tomorrow night. Here. Oh, great. Can we get everything ready, though, by tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, I want you to come with me tomorrow and help me pick out something special for her. Sure. It's kind of funny. Last year, Dusty was asking me to pick out something special for her when she was in Wyoming with Holden. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I gotta go. Okay. Um, you want to come help me fend off the groupies? Um... Go ahead. I'm, I'm still thinking about our conversation. Yes, am I? What conversation? Well, Spence and I just had a long talk about conversation, uh, relationships and love. And I get the feeling that he was in a relationship with someone and was very hurt by it. And every time I brought up a subject, he would look away and he would change the subject. <laughs> How did you get into that? What? I never knew you could make wine out of dandelions. Watch out. Well, <laughs> later I'll take you down to the Snyder wine cellar. Yeah, otherwise known as the basement. I hate to eat and run, but I gotta get to work. No, don't go. Oh, so we haven't even had dessert. It's rhubarb pie. Uh, Delicious. I'm not very hungry. I'll you. save you some. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna go to the carriage house after work to see if Dusty's package has oh. arrived. Don't forget your package you're getting tomorrow from your other mother, the rich one. Oh, I don't know where it's gonna go, though. I have so many addresses these days, <laughs> but not as many as Dusty. Mm. How does he feel about all that traveling around? My, well, he likes it. He really, really likes it. He doesn't yeah. mind working for Lucinda's corporate empire at all. Well, what does he think of that friend of his, Spence, working at the stable? <laughs> Apparently, Dusty and Spence really didn't know each other that well. Oh, he said he remembered something terrible happening to Spence, but he terrible? didn't remember all the details. So he just heard it somewhere. I thought that this Davies guy was supposed to be his best friend or something. Me too. But I remember Spence saying that all he knew Dusty was from was, was the rodeo circuit, and that was many years ago. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta get to work. Lily. 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 I really, I have to go. I don't want you running out like this when things are bad between us. We had a chance to make things right again out of the pond earlier, and we just made things worse. It seems to be a pattern with us, Holden. But I don't think it's going to change. I don't believe that. Would you care for a drink before dinner? Uh, how about a wine list? Certainly, ma'am. Oh, excuse me, before you go. No matter whatever this handsome man says, I'm picking up the check tonight. As you wish, madam. Remind me never to stand in the way of something you want. I got this feeling that you just <laughs> roll right over me. Well, my mother always said I was too determined. <laughs> it's funny coming from your mother. How about I never tell her you said that? <laughs> Thanks. So, why'd you pick this place? Well, no one we know ever comes here. <laughs> oh, um... Uh, Wine list, Thanks. Tell you what, why don't we just start with uh, two glasses of white wine and I'll order a bottle with our entrees, okay? Very good, sir. Now, Betsy always speaks so highly of you. I was trying to see why. Thank you. Have you spoken to Betsy lately? Yes, I spoke to her a bit earlier. She canceled our plans for the weekend. I, I seem to think it has something to do with Rod. Well, she said that something was going on with him, but she wouldn't say what it was. I have a feeling it involves another woman. That was the first thing that popped into my mind, but Betsy would never stay in a relationship with somebody who was seeing another woman. Oh. I could get used to this. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling more relaxed. Mm. Wine helped. Yeah. And I've realized that Betsy's gonna do what she's gonna do, and I've just gotta roll with the punches. You can fight for her. You know, my daughter said that to me earlier. I have such a hard time thinking of Lily as your daughter, or Iva's daughter, or my niece. <laughs> she's really down on herself today. She wouldn't tell me why. Hmm. No, I'm sure Holden fits into that picture somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, you know, tomorrow's Lily's birthday. 
I've heard it about a thousand times today. And I'm sure it'll be on the front page of the City Times tomorrow. Be nice, be yeah, nice. Yeah. Iva promised me that she would include me in whatever plans your family came up with. Hey, Holden's bound to be there. He goes crazy every single time you go near her. I think it's about time your brother grew up a little bit. Josh, you need to be careful. This is a man that came after you with a gun because you drove me home one night. Your brother's got a lot of problems. I'm gonna leave here, I'm gonna go to the cellar and see how my daughter is. Holden. What? Where are you going? I'm going to the cellar because I'm gonna make Lily listen to what I have to say. And I'm not coming back. Holden, come back here.